Hey up everyone and welcome back to the north for the next episode of our Adventurers Guild. Apologies, there's been a bit of a delay in content this week. I have been fighting off a bit of a chest infection, but I am basically at the end of it now. So I am feeling a little bit better, so I feel like I can record again. So we should be back on our regular recording schedule. Apologies for like a day or two extra where you haven't had any content, but you know, that's just the way it goes. Anyway... Start of this episode, we've actually got quite a lot of admin stuff that we're going to have to deal with. We've got quite a few people we need to level up. And also, we've got our first party that I'm going to create. And also, I need to send someone to go and get upgraded into their next class because they've decided they want to go full monk time all the time. First things first, let's get everyone leveled up. And then I will create the party. And then I will send this person over to go and get leveled up. Let's, uh, let's have a look, quick look at everyone's level ups from last time, first and foremost. So, Zach, first and thing. I mean, expected, expected, expected. No surprises there. No surprises at all there. Let's keep going through the level ups. Clay, level 7. Okay, yeah, also absolutely fine. Shame that there's no light plus 2s, but you know what? 10 and 13. 13. 13 wisdom is wild. Great job. Fantastic work. Who else has got something superfluous? The music seems to be cutting in. I, I felt like the music should kind of stop when that happens because it seems to be like an overlay of like the victorious music that like people are leveling up with. And then you hear the also background music and it sounds like really muddy. At least it does in my ears anyway. That's why I'm trying not to talk over it when it happens. I do like that you got intelligence, but I would prefer it if you got dexterity. But you know what? Fine. I'm not going to biff about a bit too much. One day we will get you to Ranger, which needs 11 dexterity, which you actually almost got, and then 5, and then 10 strength. So this is the thing that we're going to have to really work on. But you know what? I'll take 11. We are getting there, slowly but surely. And then Edwards. Oh, wow. That was fantastic. You've got your rolled literally everything except one thing. That's really good. Uh, is there anyone left or are we good? Right, we're good in terms of that. So let us now get to... Yeah, so someone else can change it to a higher class as well if they want to. Let me quickly go into here because we are now going to create our first adventuring party. Now, someone had a fantastic name for an idea, which is a reference to another series, and I'm all for it, so good job. Okay, it turns out there's actually a massive character limit, so I can't actually write the Nightly Necromancer Obliteration Brotherhood, which is a reference to last episode for the group that was going in, but also, if we abbreviate it, it spells out... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh yeah, we are so back. Say now, I'll, I'll just do that. The Nightly... Necromancer Obliteration Brotherhood, also known as the Knobs, but with a silent K. We are so back, everyone, from the original series of Battle Brothers. Thank you for your suggestion, Raz, as always. I will just do some, like, quickly party icon changes and, like, the background colouring and stuff, and then we'll get the relevant people in. I've kind of gone with, like, the channel colours for the time being, so, like, a dark, crimsony red, but then with, like, a, a greyish, whitish, silverish sort of emblem, as it were, on a party icon. The party icon also seemed like a knightly or holy sword, which was used to destroy, like, the undead and the necromancer. So I thought this would work the best. So let's accept this one. We are in, and now all I have to do is edit the party, I would assume. What's this party synergy? So party gains the following stats during battle plus five initiative. 50% of the corresponding guild upgrades is unlocked. The party can learn low-tier teamwork skills. If the synergy level is lower than this, acquired low-tier teamwork skills are becoming inactive. Oh, uh, what's 100%? If the corresponding guild upgrade is unlocked, the team can... Oh, high tier. Is it then like mid tier? Okay, low, mid, high, and then also initiative plus five, which is still pretty good, to be fair. Now, let me add in... Oh, we can also change the emblem and change the name whenever we want, but I think we're good with this, I like to think. Right, party. Let's get the people in from last time. So it was Zach, Clay... Oh, come on, come in. Where's Hursty gone? There's Hursty. It was Ed and Superfluous, I think. Yes, it was. So, but, and um, but. So then we've got shield, heal, ranged, full damage, sneaky rogue abilities. And then eventually when this unlocks, we'll add someone else in at the same time. For the time being, this is, these are the knobs. I definitely need to heal you all, though, because you are still pretty banged up from last time. This is cool, though. I like this. Party synergy is currently 14%. How all the party works together, their synergy depends on their relationship to each other and how many times they have gone on a quest together. So currently it's 14.4. I think we'll get there. Apparently, they've actually some their relationships as well, so that's kind of cool. Shame that you can't really go into, like, the whole thing and have a look. Oh, God, this front row is terrible. What's going on here? Uh, let's do... That should be okay. I I'll take this. Nice. I am a big fan. That's expensive. Right, that's done there. Let me go into here very quickly. Yes, I know. I've done this. Well done, me. Congra congratulations. Uh, Zach has one skill point. Is there anyone else who has anything else? Nope. So I'll do Zach's very quickly. 
as to what I'm going to do, though. I don't know. Close combat training was really good. Attack of Opportunity is also pretty decent. Second win for a tank is also pretty good. Cover and Taunt might just be the way to go with it, just because he is supposed to be a big tanky person. You know what? I'm just going to go with it. Taunt would have always been really useful for his light skill set, so him having it now is only going to make sense. So who can actually... Who else can change class? So Clay can change class to a bishop already. Damn. I mean, what other choices really is there for a priest other than, I guess, maybe, like, go in the paladin route? Or I guess the high mage... But I think bishop would be the way to go. So, uh, yeah, go for it. There you go. Become a bishop. Level up, my friends. And then if we quickly go back to... Can I just go back to the next adventure or previous? So, Briggs now wants to become a monk because she beats What's-Her-Face by or whatever her name was. So, I think we're, we're going on the monk. We're going on the monk route, and now we're now on full-on monk time. Plus, a lot of people have actually requested rogues that do eventually become monks. So, I think we're going to be seeing quite a lot of monks in the future. So, let's get that confirmed. I'll get you healed up after you're done with that leveling up. Let me have a quick look at the assignments, because I feel like they have changed a little bit. Uh, so, there's actually a first disciple thing, so I guess I'll assign Briggs to this next time. And there's also a paladin training regime. Well, I know that... Um, Superfluous does want to go down like a paladin route at some... Oh, I also like that their backgrounds have actually changed to the adventurer group that they're part of. That's really cool. I like that quite a bit. I might also create another one at some point, but I'll, I'll figure it out in a second. Uh, it doesn't expire. Assignment will not reappear. Whereas this one will reappear. So this is like a one and done thing. So Superfluous, if I put you in here, only a 60%. That's actually quite rough. What about you? 85%. Hmm. Maybe I'll wait a hot minute and let you, like heal up a little bit because everyone is pretty banged up like damn everyone's banged up how much does that knock you down by oh five that's fine for the people who are like seven i'll heal them but everyone else is like two i think i can live uh here's the you're at like five let's heal you as well right i've blown through e enough money and enough stuff for the time being i'm gonna have a quick look at the tavern because i do have a few people that i need to find now like i think i've got like two rogues and a mage to find so let me go have a quick deke okay there was a single rogue in there that i could have used but they absolutely sucked like they were just terrible in general so i need to keep an eye out for a male mage a male rogue and a female rogue on the plus side it is almost the next week so we should get a resurgence of more people coming in so that should be fine can i upgrade Ferdinand? are we at that point yet i feel like i need more to upgrade him so if I got rid of light, only show craft ball, and then went to like, where is he? Third number talking sword, I need another three black iron. But we are getting the stuff at least, so we are getting there. I can also just upgrade a few more things here and there, but I'll see who we're going to take first, and then I'll like lock us in as it were. I could do more upgrades, but we are kind of getting low on the whole, you know, money problem. So let's just sort of... Let's keep it light, and then let's just go and see what we can get into today. We've kind of already upgraded to a certain point, so what I'm going to do is, the first one of the day, I'm just going to send in some of our low-level people just to get upgraded a little bit, because they are falling behind slightly. Not their fault in any means, it's just that they haven't, they can't do, like, the level 5 quest. So let's try and get them up a little bit. I have equipped uh, Femris with the actual Blessed Sword and Shield, just to see how it works, but I probably will give it to Zack in the end, because he's the one who technically got it i have given ferdinand to cheeky for the time being also the armored gauntlet just to give him a bit more resistance since he doesn't have a shield so we'll see how that goes i guess you can keep ferdinand for the time being and i guess superfluous can then keep the um wait who has the actual other weapon oh it's currently um what's the face it's currently briggs isn't it but she won't be using it for much longer because she's going to change to a monk and won't need that weapon anymore I would be under that impression anyway. So I guess I'll end up giving that to... Say if, if Cheeky wants Ferdinand, then I'll give the super big weapon to Superfluous. And then we'll kind of go from there, I guess. Um, it'll depend on if Superfluous ends up going to a different class, which doesn't need that. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's just let's just get cracking. I know I've been talking a lot already just to go... Just because we've been, we've been going over stuff. I also need to figure out who to give this skill point to. Still pretty undecided. Uh, let's just say first first come, first serve. First come, first serve. I fight for it in the comments. <laughs> I like the, the change in like how it looks now on your on your being, as it were. Um, I've also just realized I brought in two mages, which is fine. I mean, Johnny Waste might get rubbed the wrong way by Vastoli, but let's be honest, who doesn't? In the nicest way possible, who doesn't? Right, get as many materials as we want. This is just an explore area thing anyway, but the more we kill, the more experience we get. Any... Who's got... Is anyone even high enough to get that? Daryl, seven. Okay. Yep, you want to try that again, buddy boy? Okay, I was about to say, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? But 
we have fortunately managed to get around it so far. What's that? Oh, it's just mo it's just money. More money, less problems. Okay, first fight of the day. What's the worst thing that could happen? I just had a quick look in the options for all the things that you can like chop and change. Uh, I need to look into it a lot more because I've just changed like the animation for picking stuff up in general. So I think I would like to have a quick gander and see how much we can actually change just to make things a bit more optimized in this game. But I'll have a look at that like after this. I'm not really too worried about what three bandits. Okay, four bandits, fine. Four bandits. I'm only a little bit more worried about four bandits. God forbid. But I don't think they're going to be in range anyway, so it's not like it's going to matter. Nah, way too far away, mate. What are you, what are you playing at? What are you tech me for? Well, I was saying that, I don't think I'm getting there anytime soon, and I can't charge, can I? So cheeky, hide behind there. We're still, I don't think this works on angles. No, I don't believe it does. But you can do... Ah, you can't. You're just one out. You're always one out. Always one out, aren't you, buddy boy? It's alright, you can still hit at the end of the day. It's just a little bit disappointing. It's not your fault. Don't worry. I know. It's not your fault. I will taunt him. Femris will get the goods, as it were. And this will hopefully help out. But then again, he'll also be attached to it. So he'll be able to shoot at the same time. So we just want to be a little bit careful there. That would be really useful to go up there. But I don't think he's going to be able to shoot if I did that. So I'll just shoot there for the time being. Hopefully our... Initiative is a little bit better than theirs. Or I can just do... Oh, you're just Once again, you're just one out. Always just one out, isn't it? Right, where are you going? 58? Well, at least he loves the pain. Unfortunately, that's not going to work out super well. For him. Right, good stuff. Can you get a move on there? Because they're probably actually now going to shoot us quite a bit. You could technically charge if I... We haven't used this before, so I'm curious to see how this works. So, charge. So, just straight up attacks. He doesn't, like, do any, like, stun or anything. I mean, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm I'm more than okay with that. ka -chow. Get out of here. Right, let's get moved up. To be fair, it might be a good time to send someone who's used, the, used their uh, abilities to then get their SP back on that little crystal, I guess. Which I imagine would be Fenris if we get there yeah, enough time. But still, I don't think you're going to be able to hit him from where you are. Oh, I take that back. Nope, I take that back again. <laughs> Reverse exactly what I just said there. Uh, cheeky, get a move on. You might be in range to get him next time, but his initiative might be a bit better. Right, Fenris, since you're... You might as well come here and use this. Uh, nope, that. There we go. I think we should be good where we are now. Although he is on, he does have elevation, so we want to be a little bit careful. God, man, Daryl's actually quite good. Not to say that I'm like a, I didn't expect him to be any good, but he's a lot better than I expected. A lot better than I expected. Right, come down. Thank you very much. Damn, 20. Ferdinand is not taking any prisoners. Neither is cheeky. Good stuff. Nice one. That'll do. I'll take it. Take on, continue. Pretty straightforward. First fight of the day, and I think we're about to be on to the second fight of the day. Ah, oh, the rock, the rock golems. So what do these do? So, increase accuracy and dodge by 20. So we want to pull them away from that, because we do have ranged. So once again, it does feel like in every single fight that we do, we, we are just basically waiting for them to come to us. But if that's just the way it is, that's just the way it is. I don't think we're in range, so we should be alright. Johnny, what's their weakness? Is it ice? It is ice. Can I get, like... I don't think I get close enough to use ice, but I can damn well try. Nope. Every time. I'll use the less effective lightning just to get him started. I don't think they're going to be in range to attack us anyway. You might be in range to attack Johnny. But you won't, which I appreciate. So let's get in there, shall we, Cheeky? Let's start cutting him down. Oh, beautiful. One hit, one kill. You love to see it. What are they weak against? Nothing really. I think they are kind of weak to fire to a point. And obviously, as our resident person who loves using fire, he's going to use fire. It's kind of a gimme at this point, really. I'm going to use this one to shoot there, just because Femris can go and deal with Spider Bro. Although, I'm going to have to make you charge. Which, I mean, it's fine, I think. It would have been fine. <laughs> it's alright. It's, it's cool. It's still good. It's still good. The spider is going to go first, but 
at least the annoying Earth Elemental is dead, which plagued us quite a bit in our early game. And you get poisons. You will. But once again, you love pain. And two, it doesn't carry over onto the main map, so you should be okay. Pretty straightforward. I'll take it. You're definitely going to level up. I think Themris might not level up. I think everyone else probably will. It's going to really depend. I'm going to try and I'm just, I'm going to try and like bump the bonus XP up as much as I can. So we're going to be fighting as much in this first one and hoping for the best. Oh, that was faster. Okay. That was like bang 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 done. It was like, "Yeah, that's how you mine." That's how a dwarf mines, mate. All right, pretty cool. At least that makes things a little bit smoother to get through. Jesus. <laughs> that noise though. Right, goblins on the forefront. Let's get them. Bake them away, toys. What do we got? So, five, one. Only one of them is ranged, so there's no point getting up in their grills. It just seems to be a regular thing, doesn't it? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that the start of every combat seems to be quite similar, where it's just let them come to us, because there's no point getting up on them, unless, unless they had ranged superiority, which it's very rare that they do, so... It's not too much of a problem. God, once again, they're just out of range. I feel like if I gave, like, a mage some sort of, like, ranged advantage, like, give him, like, range plus one, it would actually make a, a shit ton of difference. Like, for real. Right, Vistoli, I know you like fire, but I prefer it if you did this. Thank you. Thank you for listening to me as well. Um, I guess I could charge. Why not? He's gonna get into the thick of it now, Femrus. He don't care. Man on a mission. Stay out of his way. Daryl's going to try and back him up, but I think the thing's going to be in the way, isn't it? Oh, 95. I don't think it is. I think it's actually all right. Nice. Who's going to get the... Right, Johnny's in on it. Off you go, Arcade. You do the same... Oh, 74 is not great. It'll hit, though. It will hit. And you know what? Johnny's going to power up and try and finish that one off with something. I imagine maybe like fire. Maybe even like a magic missile should finish it off, to be fair. I don't think it should be anything too problematic. There we go. There it goes. Good job. Who's going to go next? 38. Good block. That would have been a good time to have the, um, what's it called? Where we can fight back. It's basically just like repost, more or less. Some of us have it. Some of us don't have it. It is what it is. Who are you going to shoot at? Fair enough. It was 95%. It was going to happen. Sorry to say. You are the one to go next, right? So, Femris, can you try and wean off that one very quickly. Yes, you can. Next turn, <laughs> eat that. Don't eat it, but... And then Cheeky, go up there and slice and or dice. You might just be able to kill it with a normal attack. Pfft. Hell yeah, you can, brother. Alright, who's next? Right, Femris. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong one for that one. Use that. Really need to remember to use those more often. Also, it doesn't really seem to use any, like, movement or anything. I thought he did. Oh, it kind of does. It kind of does. Well, let's just knock him into oblivion. Alright, you're going to miss a 90%. I'm going to ignore that happened. And I also can't see him there. Bloody hell. Come on now. Come on now. Thank you, Daryl, for picking up the slack. It's quite alright, Arcade. It's quite alright. We aren't getting a lot of experience for this. It's more the experience boost for the entirety of the dungeon that I'm getting more than anything. So now we've got a 30% booster. And we are, we're basically going to finish this off. There is something over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to continue exploring. I want to try and get as many stuff as I can out of this. Also, look at all the chests. Amazing chest ahead. Don't screw it up. Wow. Okay, better. Jeez Louise, guys. Right, let's see what's cracking on with this. What's the event? The party met a group of young, shabbily armed people who don't look like adventurers. They said they were from a nearby village and were looking for a treasure that, according to a legend, was hidden somewhere in this cave. The party looked at the villagers and knew that they wouldn't last long in this place if they were to continue. Okay. Try to... Hmm. <laughs> Wish them luck. Now I'll try to swear them to turn back. Although, eight... You're what? You're gonna listen to the story? Okay. We'll see if he does a good job of it. Oh, Alright, fair enough. Okay. Maybe he's got a good... Maybe he's got a mouth for for positive, positivity as well. But still, he told them that they will probably die before they could even lay eyes on the treasure. He counted all the ways they could perish in this place. No, that sounds like Bastoli. Giving a horrifyingly detailed description for each of them. At the end, the villagers became visibly pale and decided that they changed their mind and will go home. That's probably for the best, Bastoli replied to them. Good job. Oh, you got free SP. That's actually pretty good. 
And then everyone got BP as well, because we technically saved them in a weird roundabout way of doing it. In a very Vistoli way, they got saved. <laughs> Funnily enough. Bloody hell, man. Thank you. Ooh, what's that? The Talisman of Ganenta. A talisman dedicated to the God of Compassion. Blessing of Ganenta. So, restores... Oh! So, I can either give this to, like, a cleric, or I can give that to, like, anyone. And then a firebomb. I'm not against a firebomb. Can you get through this? You need to roll nine. It's like a fitty fitty, basically. Alright, good job. Fantastic work. Am I gonna have enough to fight said spider? Yes, I will. Ooh, there do be quite a lot of spiders. So, to be fair, usually I wouldn't move much, but this time I am gonna move into position in preparation. And boy, are we gonna need it. Uh, you stay there for a sec. You stay there for a sec. Uh, Femrish, you come up here. Okay. Let them come and hit the bulk of us, because they're probably gonna be able to attack. No? I thought they had, like, a ranged attack. Maybe they don't. Maybe I'm misremembering. Well, I do have a firebomb. I don't know if anyone's, like, got it. I think I can throw it. Not close enough, but we can get there. I mean, why not use it, you know? Why not use it? The see who's, like, the closest to it. Daryl, could you get, like, there and throw it? So I think that would be quite hilarious. So if I went, like, firebomb... Damn, that's... Yeah, that's pretty sick. I'll take it. You have the BP to... Ooh, yep, you're pushing it a bit, but I think you'll be alright. He's fine. Right, Johnny. Our kids. Double kill, baby. Not a waster after all. Right, Femris, get in there. Need to block from off so we don't end up attacking someone who isn't as defendable as yourself. See, that's how it works. Wait, hang on. Wait for it. Block the 48. You'll love to see it. And then Cheeky come into the side, and I think you can do, like, the triple thing. Yep. Yes, it got crit 30. Damn. We ain't messing. Today, we ain't messing. Okay, you guys are definitely going to level up. You got 200 boosts from that event, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get you to your next level. But I think you'll get, like, maybe, like, halfway and close, you know? I think we're basically locked around this area now. We're on, like, what, 90... 2%, so I think but probably there's not really anywhere else to look. There's like a little bit here, but I think I'm good. 40% will do. Let's get out of here. Not bad, like 4,000 experience, so it'll be like, mm, it's only gonna be like, what, 800 and 810? No, it'd be more than that. It'd be like 850? I'm not good at quick maths. Oh, Johnny Waster. So close. Yet so far. But at least we're still being cheeky and technically Daryl will level up. Uh, Femris is like halfway-ish, and Johnny Waster is on the cusp. Not a bad thing by any means. What happened here? Oh god, what now? What now? The little kid just bumped into me. Hey kids, are you lost? Cecilia, you're breaking my heart. Mm. How about we go and find your parents? Uh, oh god, don't call me a kid. I'm actually old enough to have a few- Oh right, okay. You mean you're playing house with some boy? What? How dare you talk to me like that? You... You... You stink. Okay, that's a childish response. And suddenly I'm reminded again why I don't like kids. Hmm. Whatever. I have no time to, cr to waste on the likes of you, so I'll let your rude behavior towards me slide this time. More importantly, I have to find the Guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild. Classic move, really. I'm the Guildmaster. What? I said I am the Guildmaster. I am not lying to you. As if the Guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild could be someone as uncouth as you. Yeah, well, welcome to the party. And how should the Guildmaster of the Adventurer Guild be alike, in your opinion? Obviously, the Guildmaster would be a highly respectable person who radiates grace and awe wherever they go. Yeah, I'm, I'm all out of grace and awe. Sorry. A prime example of a person for all of the great adventurers to strive for. And what do you think adventurers are? Noble and selfless warriors, of course. <laughs> Not quite. Have you met them? Just go to the tavern and you'll see what I mean. Fighting for justice and against evil. And who told you all that? My big brother. He knows everything. Kid, I'm going to say something very upsetting. What exactly? Your brother lied. None of that is true. What? How dare you say that? Noble and selfless? 
Did you know that people wouldn't let adventurers into their houses because they were afraid they would steal something? Oh, you know, break pots of money. That's just the sort of thing. Just a bit of a cliche. Do they fight monsters? We do. For money. They protect people. Also for money. Do you want to know how many times I've seen adventurers skip town before they've done their job, even when they got the money? No, that can't be. My big brother. He lied. And do you know why he lied? Because you're a kid. What? Oh, okay. She is actually a child. What are you doing? Ah, oh, Fiola. I found some lost kids. Try not to eat her. Eat me? <laughs> Classic. You idiot. Do you know who that child is? No, but I get the distinct feeling I'm not going to like the answer. Ah, Lady Cecilia! From House Greyhorn. I might add. Oh. A noble kid. I'm terribly sorry if our guildmaster has been in any way disrespectful to you. Ah, I see where this is going. I'm sure the guildmaster wasn't aware that they were in the presence of a lady like yourself. Right, guildmaster? Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. I don't care. Finally, someone who knows how to treat a lady. Hmm. You may be forgiven. That was a quick recovery. Lady Cecilia, we're delighted that you decided to grace us with your presence. But if you don't mind me asking, what is the reason for this happy occasion? I need adventurers for a quest. I, yeah, I expected as much. We should talk somewhere else. Not the tavern. Okay, good. Don't take the kid to the tavern. That's weird. Alright, kid, tell me what this is all about. Stop calling me a kid. Guildmaster. Alright, alright. Lady Cecilia. Much better. For what reason have you sought the Adventurer Guild? I need to save my big brother. Yeah, there it is. What do you mean? As you know, the bandit problem in our lands has gotten out of hand as of late, and it's believed to be the cause of a self-proclaimed bandit king. Yeah, so the guy that we fought in the last one was definitely not the bandit king. He was like, the bandit count, I guess. As a response, my family sent a subjugation force led by my big brother to deal with the bandit king and his men. Ah, right. I think I remember hearing about the subjugation force. But they failed. Classic. What? Yesterday, some soldiers managed to return and told us that the bandits under the Bandit King's command were much more numerous and stronger than we thought. The subjugation force is completely routed. That's some rather unsettling news. I would have never expected to hear that bandits could become this much of a threat. And your brother? He's missing. But I'm sure he's alive. They said he was the one who called for the retreat. He is still alive for sure. Please, Guildmaster. I know he is still out there. I need your adventurers to search for him. This sounds like a bit of a higher level quest, I imagine. What about your family? Haven't they sent their own men to find your brother? They won't look for him. He is the fourth son of the family. So, not important enough to risk more men for a search party. Yes. Nobles. That's why I don't like dealing with them. My family wouldn't even allow me to hire adventurers to search for him, saying that adventurers are just untrustworthy lowlives. My brother has always told me that adventurers always help people in need. I even heard how the adventurer guild saved the village from the bandit king. We did do that. That's why I snuck out of my home with some trusted servants just to meet you. That explains those people panicking in the tavern just a moment ago. Please, I need your adventurers to look for my brother. It has been days since the battle, hasn't it? If he hasn't returned by now, I fear he might already be. It, is it about the money? You said adventurers would help for money, right? I don't have any money, but... I can give you this. It's a ring that my nanny once gave me. It's supposed to protect me. But I don't need it. I don't need to be protected. I just want my brother back. An old ring made out of cheap metal. Something a noble would be embarrassed to be seen with. Yet, contrary to the haughtiness she was displaying in the beginning, she was still wearing this cheap ring. It has to mean a lot to her. Okay, good. The Adventure Guild will accept your quest. Really? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait, I mean. <laughs> of course you will. Yeah, there it is. Did you just call me a kid again? I'm going to keep calling you a kid, kid. And for a moment, I thought she... No, no. No, she's annoying, if anything. What? You know that the ring is probably not worth much, and you still accepted the quest. I guess you do have a kinder side, after all. Well, even if we take a loss on this guild, we can just easily make up the difference from the guildmaster's pocket. You two are talking way too much. Let's get back to work. We have a big brother to find. It's gonna be another day, people. So this looks like it's the next, like, big contract, I guess. Oh, an assignment failed. What happened? 
After days of deliberations, Vincent finally gave up. Vincent could not find a way to make Reggie's life sound exciting enough for a song. Reggie's feelings were a little bit hurt by that revelation. Ouch. Can we try again? Because that feels kind of mean. New week as well, so I can have a look at um, the area down here. Let's quickly do the leveling up. I'll have a quick look at the assignments, because I feel kind of bad for Reggie now. And then we'll see what's going on with this whole finding the big brother. I imagine it's a high-level quest. All right, level up for Vastoli. Let's get you up to level four. That'll give you Bronze Adventure as well, which is quite good. Not bad. Most of those are, like, sort of guaranteed. The 40% for willpower is pretty good. What do we get for that? So every point above five increases bravery by one. So now every time you get it, it will get in bravery by one. And every three points above five increases crit chance by one. So that'll impact if we get you to, like, eight. Okay. That's good to know. And then Chiki, welcome to level four. Yeah, I guess those weren't really going to happen, but man, 12. 12 strength at level four is pretty damn decent. Uh, who did anyone else level up? Daryl will level up as well. Once again, he's just like an NPC character, but we might as well use him. We might as well use him. Also, he rolled on a 50%, so that's pretty decent. And he also got an extra two in dexterity and also a two in wisdom. You know what? I'll take it. That's fine. Let me get back to here quickly. I think I'm going to have some people who have got some stuff to level up. Oh, look at Briggs with her new, like, get-up. We'll get to her at the end, because I want it to be, like, a surprise to see how it is. Uh, let me go for Daryl. Let's go high ground. And then let's go... Da -da 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 -da. Let's go... Underdog's kind of whatever. Experience adventure. What's that? Perfect vision. Increases accuracy by 10. Increases crit by 5. Increases... Do wow! Done. Didn't even have to think about it. God damn, that was quite something. And then Cheeky, welcome to having two more skill points. I'll give you two-handed grips. So you're just a lot more powerful with the old sword. And then I will give you... I don't actually know. Um, could give you close combat training, because that way you will then get a response attack. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for the response attack. I think that will be quite useful. And then, nope, that's not what I want to do at all. I want to go back into here to Pistoli. I need to treat with you fire magic, fire magic adept. It's all he's ever wanted in life, let's be honest. And then common support spells, kind of whatever. Spell trap penetration is not a bad thing. Maybe I just go for some magical resistances just to keep him alive. No, you know what? No, spell penetration. And then we've got Briggs with her now monk training, which there's a lot going on here. Although, unfortunately, we can't unlock much of it yet. I can get basic monk techniques, which is key strike, opening strike, and back attack. Back attack, teleport to the selected... Teleport? Opening strike moves towards selected tile to reach or interrupt to... Damn. And then key strike. Damn. Okay, yep. Done. <laughs> That's going to be a good start. And also, you can charge, which will be pretty insane. Um, but you can't touch any of these yet, because you need to be level 8. But that's, that's alright. I might give you just more movement, or I might give you more SP, because I feel like you're going to be using it more with your monk techniques, so I think that would make sense. So I'm actually going to give you more SP. Cool, though. Very cool to see. You'd love to see it. Um, I don't think our new bishop got anything, I don't believe. No. That's a shame. Okay, well, fair enough. Uh, cool, that's all the level ups done. You can be quiet now. If anything, I'm just going to do that. I don't know why I don't do that. Let me just go back to the assignments. Is that back now? It is. All right, we're going to try again. Don't be too sad about it, buddy. We will try again. 74% chance as well. Like, it's a pretty good chance. Right, now that you're done with your training, let's get you in there. Got a 95% chance of getting injured. Jesus Christ. And then 76% chance to succeed, so I'll take that. 25% strength, dexterity, and endurance. Done. Off you go. I think that'll be good enough. Upgrade-wise, I do have a bit of money, but I am also blowing it all on all these level-ups and upgrades in general, so I don't want to go too crazy. I guess I can maybe afford... Nah, you know what? We're all like 3,000. I don't think I'm going to risk it. Okay, let me uh, see what's going on in the tavern for people for, for being a new week, and then we'll get one more, like, mission in today. You managed to find uh, two new people who actually have some biographies that I can actually read out, so this should be quite nice and fun. And then I think I'm going to put them in the training ground to level them up a little bit since they are level one, so it kind of makes sense. I'm also going to move you that way because you are level. Can I just make it so it's, like, by level? I feel like I can probably... I should be able to do that. Uh, ascending. Oh, no. Descending. Yeah, okay. That's a little bit better. I do like that the group will be put together. But, you know, this is fine. This is fine. Although, that's not quite... Right. There we go. I think I was just being stupid. Anyway, first I'd like to introduce uh, Grialdi. This is going to be a rogue who will then go into Monk when we get the stats going. She's actually got Born Leader, which will actually be really useful when we are going to, like, party leading stuff. 
because that means she'll get like better bonuses and stuff in general so Grialdi will be like really useful as being like a born like party leader when we get to that point uh, which makes sense with her biography so that's good she's an optimist but she's also a drunkard which going off her biography kind of makes a bit of sense so born into a noble house said to be descendants from the celestials themselves Grialdi was named after a baroness of the land once stolen but in time reclaimed as their only daughter and child her parents always believed she was meant for greatness but life had its share of turns an uncle of hers killed her family in pursuit of their position. Grialdi. I hope I pronounced that correct, correctly, Grialdi being the sole survivor. And so she swore and then took her revenge on him by honing her skills in the art of the shadows. Now, oh, now her noble name and house destroyed, she chose to join the Northern's Adventurer Guild. Of the Northerners Adventure Guild, however you want to say it, really, to right her wrongs and set anew upon, upon the path of greatness. So I picked like a short, like, haircut. I went as blonde as possible. Didn't really say, like, a specific, like, eye color, so I went for sort of, like, royal purple, just because you are nobility, so I think that would work quite well. And then we also have, is he going to be, like, the next one over? We also have Peace Nightbring. Obviously, I can't control what traits you come in with, so I couldn't find a mage with a scar. And it probably would have taken like a million years to find one. So I think I'd rather get you in instead of making you wait for a very long time. I hope that's all right. You are educated. So that means your intelligence growth is wild. But you are ascetic. But then you're also healthy body, which is kind of weird. It doesn't mean that you don't consume any supplies during the camp. But uh, this weirdly fixes it out. And you also get one endurance. So I guess that's fine. But you are a little bit boring. But that kind of makes sense with the way that you've been sort of like on the run. I think you've I think you're a bit too busy trying not to die to uh, you know, have a nice conversation with people. Once a peaceful man, he cared for those around him until he was almost assassinated in his home. He managed to escape, but not without a few scars. But you can't currently see. He started learning magic to defend himself and keep away from others while trying to learn who who would want him dead. He joined the guild so he could learn more magic and get stronger. But he's always paranoid and looking over his shoulder. Some one say some would say he even joined the guild so that if he was attacked again he would have a warning before it happened. Fair enough. So I think being maybe not boring in that regard, but boring because you refuse to talk to anyone because you're a little bit paranoid. Paranoid is a trait, but it doesn't really come up super high amounts, but it would have been good to find it. But at least you're in. Let me get to the training ground so I can level you guys up a bit. Oh, it's level four. How expensive is it? How spenny are we talking? Oh, that's that's cheap. Right, train. Uh, train. You know what? I might as well train you all. Screw it. Why not? That'll do. That's really powerful. The fact that we can also train multiple people at once is, is sick. Uh, cool. So I've got nothing else to do there. We've done all our upgrades. We've, we've introduced like two new people, which is very nice. I have more upgrades to do now, but man, do I not have the money for it. So let's have a look at the assignments very quickly. We've got that one on there. We've got that one there. I'm not going to do this one yet because I need to level up Superfluous a little bit more just so he's got a better chance not to screw it up, basically. Nothing else I can really build here. I think someone might be able to utilize some plate armor, but let's stop messing. Let's have a quick look in the Merchant's Guild to see what I can just sell. Now, we do have the, the edge now, which I will give to before I forget. Where is he? Where is he? There you are. Let me give you the edge. Does it work? There's also these little dots, so I imagine you can, like, imbue them with stuff at some points anyway. Uh, and this will be going to uh, our girl Briggs, so let me give you something else. So I'll give you... I'll do that. And then let me go to Briggs. Where have you gone? There you are. I don't know what you've got in currently. 15 bravery and 10 initiative. I mean, they're both pretty good. What's that one? Dodge and initiative. I will pick that one. As for armor, what do you even use for armor? Do you use... Nope. It's going to be like... I imagine it will be like the geese. Right? Although I can't currently make said gi. But I imagine that would be the case. Go with novice gi. You know what? I'll do that for now just so you've got something. But I imagine it's the ones that we like built for other people, I guess. But here we go. That'll do. Not bad. Cool. Right, let's get another thing under our belt before we end of the day, just to see some more people cracking on. To be fair, looking how everyone else has already been out, I think it's time to send out the, uh, the knobs, which <laughs> you'd love to see it. Maybe I will name all the adventurer guilds after like the iconic groups from our Battle Brothers series. That'll be like a nice little reference. We've got the knobs, we've got the chose, we've got the wankers, we've got the scrotums. We've got the more recent bellends. It'll be very interesting. Although we do have like, a, once again, a, uh, a limit on what we could... Uh, utilize but right, that's cool uh cool well in that case let me have a quick look at see what they can do survive enemy waves that's a new mission no camping all or nothing Thirteen thousand experience that's wild level four to five seven six five 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 okay 
Never seen a mission like that before, so that might be worth it. I like how the stars are kind of overlapping with each other. <laughs> they might want to look at that. Maybe. Well, I'd rather do it in an old fortress because I think that's more interesting. I guess we're doing this. Survive enemy waves. Uh, survive three waves of enemies. Level four to five. Knobs, roll out. So you just pick it and then it goes onto here and they're automatically all selected. That's cool, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, does anyone need any better... I mean, you've got hide armor. Can I build any lever armor? I don't know if I can. I can't, unfortunately. So you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can really give out. Oh, actually, before I forget, I wish I could, like, unequip stuff in general, but I don't think I can. All adventurers not currently selectable, and that's a bit too much, though, because that'll then ruin everything else. Give me a hot minute. Uh, I mean, I don't really know what else to take, really. It's a, a very specifically weird mission, so I guess I could take, like, some antidotes and some bandages, but let's see what happens. A pretty new experience in general. Survive three waves of enemies. Now, there is a weird event here. I don't know what this is going to be. The adventurers arrived at the place where they're supposed to meet the enemies. I mean, I guess I can click prepare first, but... So this starts the event. Right, okay, I see. Right, well, no point messing about. Let's get, cra let's get cracking. Uh, yeah, we are ready to meet the enemies head on. So three rounds of three waves, I guess. Let's see, how bad could it be? It couldn't be that bad, right? Oh, it's like we are in the middle of the... What the hell is that thing? Bandit Maniac. I was going to say, is that, is that an Eldar Harlequin? <laughs> Not quite. Okay, so improved weaponry. I feel like we need to kill this guy sooner rather than later. Is he the only one of that type? Fortunately, he is. Also, as a lot of people have said in the comments, these are, these are like one use. So once we actually, like someone is on them, then it's done once. It's only triggered once, which is quite handy. Or if you're a ghost, in that case, it just, you can do it. Right, okay. Ed, could you Harley Quinn the Harley Quinn? I guess we're about to find out. Please do that. What's the chance to hit? Am I actually going to have to power up? I am going to have to power up, aren't I? Well, if there ever was a time it was to fight whatever the hell this is. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Hursty, if you want to... How far can you move? I think you can probably get... How far can you move? You can probably get there, and that'll be okay. You can probably snipe this one. 79% is not great, though, so let's go full on the aim. Okay, not a bad start. Let's keep it up. Clay, I don't really know. If Superfluous wants to go in there, I suppose Zack can charge this guy. I suppose Aegis up someone, I guess. I could Radiant Blast someone, actually. Or, what's it called? Uh, Holy Light them. I don't think I'm going to get close enough to it, though. What's that? Well, actually, uh, I don't want to get in front of you. I don't want to get in front of there. I don't know. I'm really stuck with what I want to do here. I just... This guy... This guy creeps me out, and I want to get rid of him sooner rather than later. Yeah, how far can you move? Right, you're going to have to move there just to protect our boy. And I guess taunt my guy. That'll do. And then if you can charge... Um... Why is there... A missing thing here? Does Zack not have charge? Am I misremembering this? Oh, uh, yeah, you don't have it. It's someone else. That's fine. You know what? That's alright. Do you forget you do keep having true sight, though, and you can actually... You, you can't be blinded, which is actually fantastic. <sighs> Ooh, boy. Oh, chain attack's gonna come in, though, so we'll take that. Uh, I think power up. Let's just try and stun the bastard. I don't want him... He doesn't look like the sort of person we want to give a, you know, attack to. So just keep him out of the fights. Although I imagine he's also got a pretty high, like, initiative. Because he looks like a that sort of like roguey person, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Good resist. Right, who's gonna have the first laugh, they say? It's gonna be Ed's! Fantastic work. Right, we'll get a move on. Back down this way. Next wave's in two rounds, so we really want to get rid of these guys sooner rather than later. Uh, how much damage is that? Let's take aim. And then if you want to move, and then power up one, 
and then shoot. I am, like, front-loading quite a bit, but if we get rid of this wave sooner rather than later, then I think we're going to be in for a bit of an easier time. I think. Don't uh, quote me on that. Never, never, never quote me on that. I ask I get in range of that either. So let me let me ease you up. Might as well. You wanna just wipe this guy out in one hit? Oh, very close. Very, very close. See so what make a move. Zach, you wanna move up here. Finish this guy off very quickly. Nice. Okay. Alright. These guys are probably that one's not in range actually. That one's not going to go who I thought he was going to go for, which is kind of annoying, but it's fine. It's alright. It's alright. We've had worse. The jabronis are coming in now. So I'll tell you what. Let's just go and deal with this quickly. How many of them are coming in? One, two, three. Oh, there's a big, there's a big kahuna coming in as well. Oh, you bastard man. Absolute bastard man. I'm going to heal you up. But I'll fix the bleeding as well. Uh, move into like the middle of the room. Because it's going to get a bit messy otherwise. Point blank that one. He's not dead. He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Mate. I 100% uh, take offense to that. Right. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell thee what. I'll tell thee what. Let's get taunting that one. Because he's got full health. And then Superfluous, if you can, like, sort of weave your way in and finish this one off pretty blues. Thank you very much. Please don't miss 74%. And this one should go for Zach. Hopefully miss. He will not miss. But I will return the favor. And I will resist the bleed. Seems like all of them are doing bleed now, which is not ideal. How many of them is there? Four. One is a big boy. One is a ranged person. That's all right, I guess. I guess I could aim. I might as well start getting shot off here. There's another wave in, what, three rounds? So we want to be careful of that. What do I want? You know what? I'm going to go heavy arrows. I'm going to see if we can wipe out the big guy before... I mean, he'll probably get quite close, but not close enough, you know? I think this guy's t these guys are too far away. So if I can get you here, just do some regular damage. Might as well just, like, really lay it into them. And then, Ed, if you want to get... I don't know how far you can actually get, to be honest. Which one's going to go first? That one's too far away, but it's that one. Then it's that one. Then it's that one. Then it's that one. So really, I won't mind going up there, but to be honest, I think... Let's just see if we can take care of this one now. Oh! Beautiful! You love to see it. I don't know if you're going to be able to reach. Not quite. So I'll tell you what, you come this way in preparation. You're probably going to shoot. You're going to miss Flash Bomb. That's new. Higher level enemies, I guess. You're going to come up here. You're going to taunt. Is that seven? That is, not, that is a six. The seven is what I need. Taunt this guy so he doesn't go for our spongier friends. And the other one should be way too far away to come and get us anyway. Superfluous can try and sort of deal with that. Great block. Fantastic work. You love to see it. There is the return. Beautiful. Now, question is, can I shoot this heavy arrow into this guy from where I am? What's the range? So be one, two, three, four. So I'd have to V up. Which is fine. God, that's still not really doing that much. So you know what? I'm not going to waste it on that guy because it's not really touching the sides there. Does anyone need to be healed? Not really, so I think, to be fair, I'm just going to focus on damage for the time being. That's a 95% miss. That is rough. You can't really go anywhere, so let's just start working on you then. See you later. I'll see you never, should I say. You shouldn't be able to get in unless you have, like, a charge ability, which you don't, so that's good. Superfluous, get in there. Do a big whack a smack <sighs> Very nice. And you know what? You've got the bravery. Let's just do it. Let's just push the envelope. Watch it bend. As Tool once said. Don't miss now. Well, technically, you didn't miss. He just blocked it really well. So I guess that's technically not missing. Can I stun you? 
Oh, I can. Sick. Right. Hopefully he misses, which he won't. <laughs> but you will resist the bleed, which is big. Oh, what the hell is that? They're not your average garden variety bandits. That's straight up monsters. Okay, well, one's spawning on a trap, so I don't know if he'll straight up die. I don't know if it works like that. Guess we'll have to see. Well, in that case, use all your SP you can to get rid of these guys. If this is going to be walking on dead, then we've got a friend who can actually deal with that quite well. So I'm not as worried about it. Ooh, crit on 19, probably because he was stunned, I'd imagine. Oh, he's so close to dying. Oh, thirsty man. Beautiful. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Move back into formation. I don't know what this is going to be. I assume it's going to be the shambling undead. Right? Ah, yeah, you will get impacted by the, uh... Interesting. Do you actually have bleed? Can you actually bleed? 999. Nine, nine. No, you cannot bleed. I was going to say, that would have been very weird. Right, get a little bit closer, but don't get... Don't go too crazy with it. Nuked! Once again, it'd be kind of cool if it was a case that if you killed them with holy, um, they would then just die. Like, uh, delay that for a second. Like, straight up. Let me go... here. And then, I guess, yeah, circle around here. Poison, I doubt, does anything, right? Yeah, poison 999, I wouldn't worry about it. I am going to have to V up slightly, but don't worry about it. I should have enough for it, and it shouldn't send you crazy by any means. No, it won't. Good stuff. Zack, can you get in there? Because your sword and shield actually does have some holy effect to it, I believe, as far as I'm aware. It just says bless. Physical resistance, 20% heal potency, 12 block, 8 physical. Okay, so it's blessed, but it's not like blessed in that you do holy damage with it at all. You know what? Fine. <laughs> Fine game. We'll play it like that. You kind of baited me with the name of the uh, weapon last time. I guess that wasn't the case. Can you bait that one? You can't, unfortunately. That's all right. They're all going to go for our guy and still hit anyway. Nope. Take that counter. Take a counter every, every day of the week. Okay, they're hitting quite well. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Okay, we've actually got some interesting options here. Ah, night five miss. That's unlucky. That's really unlucky. Right, to the back. Take it back now, y'all. Oh! Beautiful. You love to see that shit. And that. You know what, Clay? Double up. Let's do it. Although I think he might be a little bit out of bounds. Slightly. Let me power you up one more. Because if I kill this guy in this in this go, then we don't have to destroy the graves. They're all dead. Dece? Very dece. Zack, can you seal the deal? Why, yes, he can. Great job, everyone. Well, that was a lot more straightforward than the wave attack against all the bandits. Um, I don't know if anyone's going to level up, per se. It was quite a lot of XP for doing this mission, though, I think, if I recall. Let me just take all that crap. The party won their fight and defeated all the enemies that arrived. The quest was successfully completed, so there's nothing else to do, as it were. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, 14, like, basically 13 grand divided by 5 is, like, what? 2,500-ish, maybe like 2,650 or something. Let's see. No point doing the maths, let's just figure out on this screen instead. I'll take it. I mean, Zach and Clay are higher leveled anyway, so they're going to take longer to level up now regardless. But we will see some level ups regardless. Good job, the knobs. Right, what do we miss? Day 30 hidden talent. During training, Magicka sends an unexpected magical... Potential in Alyssa, if his talent was to be nurtured, Alyssa could easily become a powerful mage. She should gain magically talented. Oh! It's cool that they get traits whilst they're actually doing that as well. That's different and unexpected. Right, I've got 10 grand. Let me quickly go to upgrades. Uh, sure. I'll get the spyglass just so I can see what the enemies look like going forward. And I'll get the alchemy upgrade just so we're cracking on with that. 3 injury, 3 injury, 2 injury. 
three injury, no injury, good for you, Clay. Everyone else is like three days out. I think that's fine, to be honest. So let's have a look at the level ups quickly. Oh, that's beautiful. Superfluous. Fantastic job. Nice work. Let me have a look at the other classes which you could do. So I guess Paladin, you need intelligence of eight. Endurance of ten, willpower of ten. What do you have? Willpower of seven, intelligence of six. I mean, you might get, if you want to be a Paladin, you might get there. It depends what you want to go for, really, I guess. I, I, I mean, I'll leave it up to you. If you want to go for the Paladin, I'll keep trying to send you that way. And we'll see what happens. I wonder if this is actually helping with anything. Um, are you becoming friends with people more? Does anyone, is anyone a, does anyone have a friend yet? That kind of makes me a bit sad. Okay. Filled out characters that are dead or gone. Jesus Christ, they're right, game. Ah, oh, to be fair, Percy and Ed are doing quite well, but that's 25. I don't know what I've got to get to to become friends. I don't know if, it's, if you've got to get acquaintance up to 100 for it to then become friends, and then that has to get to 100 to become best friends, and then so on and so forth. Not 100% sure, but let's level up Hursty anyway. If anyone knows how that works, just let me know. Okay, fantastic on the decks, but I actually kind of want to see if you roll on strength, so I'm going to re-roll that. Ah, oh, Perfect. I'll take the strength over the intelligence because you need the strength to eventually become a ranger. You now have a dex for it. We just need to get you three more strength. Fantastic. And then Ed will level up as well to level six. This is all going very well. I wonder who's going to be our first level eight. Pretty clear at this rate, to be fair. Fantastic. Amazing. So you, you missed wisdom, but at the same time, like, damn, your bravery and crit chance is going to go up by a little bit here and there. Your hit points will go up. Your strength, just generally, generally good rolling. Did anyone level up whilst in training? That's the next question. Are they still training? They're all still training for one more turn. That's fine. And these adventurers are going to turn to a higher class. Who's that? So Ed's, Ed can go to a higher class. He can go to he can go to Monk if he wanted to, but I don't know if he would rather go to Assassin just because we've got, we've got a Monk now and there's two rogues already on the list who also want to become Monks. So I don't just want to have like a billion Monks, basically. Um, so it would be helpful if Ed does want to become an assassin, but I guess we'll see. But I'm not going to mess around with that right now. Uh, I've got no one that I can train because they're still in training for now. That's fine. We will use those eventually. Let's have a quick look at their skill points. Let's see what we've got. So superfluous. Charge could be quite good. You know, I'm actually going to give superfluous repost. Well, effectively what? It, it, it is repost. Let's, let's face it. He is in the front lines a lot. He does get hit quite a bit. So every time he'll get hit or dodge technically, he'll then smack back which i think will be a big thing hursty let's have a good look at you not really care too much about the scoundrel stuff from you to be honest like i'm not really seeing like throw sand or poison weapon poison weapon might work with a bow i guess um but i'm not really seeing it why can't i afford this why can i not afford that because it's 300 and i've got crazy money and these are 300 as well am i missing something here have you already got it no that's weird is that weird Am I going mad? Do, I, do you need something basic for that? Oh, I don't know. Let's just go high high ground. If you're going to be trained to be like a, a ranger anyway, I think all the bow stuff is only going to be, you know, helpful regardless down the line. And Ed, ooh, what to give you, Ed? I mean, I could give you the actual, like, dagger, web, dagger stuff, but we're not really using it too much. So maybe we go more into scoundrel adventure than actual dagger training, maybe. I'm going to give you dodge. Or at least I'm going to give you the ability to dodge. It only costs one, an SP of five, which isn't a lot, and you get 50 dodge. So that's if you get in there, stab someone, and then you can power up and then use your SP to then go into plus 50 dodge mode, which means they'll have, like, a super low chance to hit you, especially if it's, like, a big boss, which you're just trying to keep busy. I think that would really help. Okay, so these guys are still training. Everyone is leveled up now. There's a few people who need to change. This can shut up because we don't know if you actually want to utilize that yet. There is some assignments going on. Let me have a quick look over here, see if you've got a better chance of doing it now. It's gone up by 5%, so uh, if that is what you want to do, Superfluous, I can keep focusing you on doing that. How much is time off? How long does that last? Four days. I mean, quite a few people from the knobs are quite injured, so I might actually send them all on holiday. I think they might like that. You know what? Screw it. The knobs are going on holiday. Send them on some time off. Uh, and you know what? Even though Clay's not injured, he's going to go with you. They're all going on a summer holiday. As a, as a team. It's also going to be like a team bonding exercise. So, uh, good for you guys. Have a nice time. Doesn't mean that everyone else I'm going to need help. Well, one, two, three, 
four, five. Oh no, I've got I've, I've definitely got enough people to utilize the next turn. I also might make another adventuring party next time as well, because we've still got like Kristen, Duck, Briggs after she comes out of training, the Stoli, Johnny, Femris, Daryl, Cheeky, Reggie, Elan, and now we've also got Peace Nightbring, Grialdi, and Alyssa. So we can kind of get an idea of who else to put into the next group. If anyone who is on this list who isn't in the original in this adventuring party and feels like it would be like a good cohesion group just let me know in the comments below or let me know on the discord i am going to leave it there for now because we are definitely going to be around the hour mark at this point anyway but next time we'll probably create another group get in there and see what this uh story quest is about let me have a quick look at this rooted army yeah level six to eight that might be a little rough but the ro rogue Tri friend one we can definitely do next time because that's level four to five so uh I don't see that one being too problematic, especially to say that a lot of us are getting to like four to five. It's only the newer people who aren't there yet, but they're training, so they'll get there in their own way. Anyway, I will leave it there for today. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more there that you will enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know next time we're going out with the group in our adventures guild or our adventurer guild should i say if you'd like a character in this series feel free to let me know in the comments below give me the idea of your class your name and a backstory if you want me to read it out or let me know in the discord server itself because we do talk a lot more on there and it's a little bit more in depth and also it's nice to come have a chinwag with the rest of the northerners but other than that it's gonna be ciao for now guys and girls until next time